Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL and this is my YouTube channel. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can stay updated on all things new. Um, I am also going to go ahead and refer you to my link tree below. That is where you will find my Etsy shop in case you're interested in any of the things you see in this video and also my freebies. I just dropped some new freebies, you guys, so if you have not checked them out, uh, I will be sure to feature them in the end of this video. Um, okay, so if you have landed on this video, you have landed under the very unfortunate bubble of those of us who have lost all of our notes due to a touch notes update. This actually happens more frequent than not. Do not freak out. Um, this also, I just have a few disclaimers before we start. One, I'm not tech support. Two, I do not work with touch notes. Three, I'm just like you. I learned everything I know about touch, no touch notes through troubleshooting and just using the app. Now, I am a little bit more tech, sa tech savvy, excuse me, than most, but I am not like top notch, okay? A lot of the stuff I have learned through this uh, note taking app is just happened upon. I clicked on it and was like, oh, that's what that does? So, you know, I'm going to try my best. Today, I got quite a few messages, YouTube comments, etc. So I prepared myself mentally for him updating this app and all of my things leaving the app. And so yes, I did update the app, and yes, all my notes did leave. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do this. I say it in all of my videos, and it's not to get more followers, it's to honestly help you guys out. I do a lot of stories. If there's something new with touch notes, or if there's something going on with touch notes, I tend to troubleshoot and share what I've learned on my stories, or I will let you guys know if there is an update coming to go ahead and back up your notes if you haven't. I did that today for everyone who was smart enough to follow me on Instagram. That way they were able to troubleshoot and do what they could. Also, I do offer hand-on-hand -on -hand and one-on-one -on -one support when it comes to touch notes and my products on Instagram. I will send you a video if there is something that you need help with instantly, Instagram is where you need to be. Follow me there. I do not mind chatting with you in the DMs and helping you out. I am not one of those people that will ignore your message. If you send me something and you're confused, I will help you. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a few things. We're gonna start out first with the one solution that normally will fix this problem. But this is only going to work for you if you actually backed up your notes and you actually allowed app permissions for this app. And you are signed in to the app and the cloud. That means this app has access to your files and your tablet. This is the only way this is going to work. Because if you pay attention, the app lets you know when you first get this app and you click past all the instructions, they tell you if an update occurs, it will empty out the app. So make sure to back up all notes. There's an explanation point inside of the app on the main page here and it lets you know if you factory data reset your device or if anything, it's going to delete all of the notes. They tell you to back up all your notes. Where does it say that at? Right here, back up all notes. You press that, you hit okay, and it'll back up all your notes. It takes no time at all. You have to make sure that when you go into this app, you see a green cloud underneath all of your notes. That means that it is synchronized. That means that you're good to go. I was able to get all of my notes back, including notes that I deleted previously. The button that you're gonna wanna press if you have done this update or the update was done and you weren't really trying to and all of your notes are gone, is restore notes from old version. This is gonna take a considerable amount of time depending on how many notes you have in touch notes. But you wanna do it, especially if you wanna get your notes back. That's how I've gotten my notes back all four times that he's done this to me. Now, <laughs> sometimes when you do do this, your colors may disappear. My colors actually came back from when I had this uh, app previously. So I have all of my colors back, which is great. And all of my fonts are here and they work perfectly fine. I have all of my, my, uh, my notes, uh, not my notes, my fonts here. So I'm good to go. I didn't lose anything. Um, but that's because whenever I do my, my app here, 
I upload note. So whenever I use my planner, before I close this app out, I upload the note until it is green. Even if I haven't changed anything, I do this. This is how you're gonna ensure that when he does his little stinking resets, <laughs> that you are able to restore your notes from the old version. Now, with all of that being said, if that did not work for you, then I'm sorry, more than likely you did lose all of your notes. If you did not back up your notes into Dropbox, or anything like that, then it's more than likely gone. Now, what you can do, and I'm not sure how to do this, but if you do have it in Dropbox and that still didn't work for you, you can go into your Dropbox or wherever it is that you have your notes backed up, WeChat, whatever medium you used, and you're gonna go to it. I'm looking for, oh, that's right, it's called app. I don't know why I was looking for touch notes. It should be a folder called like app or something, yeah, apps. And inside of there is touch notes. And I showed this in my launch video. These are all of your notes. Now, how you get them back into touch notes, I honestly have no clue. Let me see. Let's see here. Uh, let's, let's, hmm. I don't really know what to do. Let's see here. Let's open with touch notes just once and see if it happens. Yeah, it didn't do. Someone did it, she had said so in the Instagram messages that she had gotten hers um, back. Let's export it to touch notes. Hmm, something's happening. Oh, hmm. I don't think it kept anything though. I don't think I had anything in here to begin with, to be honest with you. This planner is no longer in the shop, by the way. I'm just looking at it to see. Yeah, okay. So honestly, I really don't know how she did that. <laughs> I'll probably have to play around with it and figure it out, but either way it goes, my first solution, like I said, is to go here. Now, this next segment of the video is going to be preventative measures that you can take to ensure this doesn't happen to you again. The first one that I'll recommend is that you just stop using the app. If you're not tech savvy and you really don't know what you're doing and you don't, you're not willing to learn it and you just kind of want something that's easy, you're like, I'm over it, like this is not for me, then I recommend just moving on to Pinly or uh, excuse me, Samsung Notes. They're both equally good apps. They're not good. They're not as good as Touch Notes, no, but they're still functional. I do think Pinly is better than Samsung Notes for digital planning, but for note taking, I believe Samsung Notes is better than Pinly. So it just depends on what it is you're doing. Will I do more videos on Pinly and Samsung Notes? Probably not, because my focus is my products more than it is apps. So there's that but there are a lot of videos a lot of videos on Samsung notes so I don't feel like I have to really dive deep into Samsung notes on my channel and I feel like with Pinley becoming more popular there will be more videos for it um, so the first thing you need to do outside of that if you're if you're willing to still try touch notes and you really like the functionality and you really want this to work for you and you did not do the cloud backup but you're willing to try again this is what I recommend you do First, you need to go into your settings and you need to go to your apps. So I scrolled right past it. Where are the apps? There they are. And you need to go down to touch notes. You need to make sure that all of your permissions that are needed are turned on. I don't have contacts and phone turned on because I don't need that in the app, but I do need my camera. I do need my microphone and I need my storage turned on. Those things need to be allowed first and foremost. Second, when you go into the app, you need to make sure that when you click on this button that you are logged into the app. So you see, I am logged in. I'm a VIP user and I've got my email and all of those things done. I did not do the WeChat situation. I don't know how to upgrade to VIP. I'm gonna say that one more time. I don't know how to upgrade to VIP on here. The reason why is because when I upgraded to VIP, this was in like November, I think, or either December, and he's done like a world's worth of upgrades to this app. So at this point, I don't know. But I did ask in a video recently, and a lot of people gave some great feedback on how to do this. 
Um, a lot of people said that it works better if you try it over your phone, so maybe try to upgrade on your phone if it's not working for you on your tablet, etc. But you want to make sure you're logged into the app. That is important because where are all of the things going to go to, right? Next, you want to make sure your cloud sync is on. So when you're going here, you want to make sure that this situation is logged in where it's working. You see how it's uploading all of my notes? It says that it's doing that. That's important because you want to make sure you can back up your notes. And when you hit back up all notes, it's got to go somewhere. So you want to make sure all of that stuff is on. You want to make sure you're logged on. And then after that, it's just a matter of you using the app and making sure that you have a green cloud down here. That's it. That's how you ensure that when he upgrades this app, that all of your notes will come back. I've done this, all of the steps that I just showed you, and it has worked for me. Now, the third thing, the third part of this video, if you are not willing to do that, and you're like, no, I don't want him to have access to all my things, I have one more solution for you within this app. <laughs> now, it'll take a little bit more time, a little bit more work, but it's worth it, I think, in my opinion, for those of you who don't feel comfortable allowing the permissions. After you use your, your whatever, your document, this is what I recommend you do. Come over to your settings, go over to export, and hit email. Let it load up the document. It'll take a little second. <laughs> we'll just wait together here as it's, it's uh, getting it ready for the email. Do, 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 do. By the way, the updates that he's done, I feel like the app is moving smoother. I mean, every time he does some updates to this app, I feel like it's more optimized and it's, it's working a lot smoother. But for me, okay, hold on, we'll come back to that. We're gonna go to email, I'm just gonna do just once, and I'm going to email it to my Let's try that all again, because I did this earlier today. So we're gonna do that again. Let's go to export. Did I do email or did I do share? Let's try share. Let's try all pages. No, because then it gave me a code. We need to email it. I'm gonna try that one more time, you guys. This is a solution that I feel like will work for people. And the reason I say that is because you can access the note still. It'll be the version that you currently have, but it should essentially do. And if not, we'll try note share. And see, this is how I end up finding out a lot of the stuff that I share with you guys. I just sit here and I play around with this app because the reality of it is it's an app made from someone from another country. And the website, I can't understand it for the life of me. There's not much that I can do with it. Let's try this again. Okay, so that didn't work. All right, let's 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 try something else. Let's try something else because I, I wanna show you guys how you can get the document over to yourself. So let's try, let's try note share and let's try I only have it where I can actually email it to somebody. <laughs> That's fine. I'll email it to my sister. Yeah, see it attached. So just email it to yourself some kind of way, even if you just email it to like someone you know. All right, so now we're gonna go over into my email address really quickly. I'm just gonna cover stuff up and I'm currently clicking on that attachment. Let me just do it like this, I don't know. I'm clicking on that attachment and it's loaded it in and here it is. So just to prove you that it proved to you that it worked, I'll have, I have a new content planner here. So when I go to notes and then I go to planner, there's a folder here and that's the content planner that I just brought in and it's synchronized and it works. You see how that worked? Good to go and the links inside of it still work, including the, uh, the link for the planner situation that I put in there 
to bring me to you know the content thingy. If you didn't see that, that's the touch notes hack video. But yeah, you guys. I mean, that's essentially it. That's all I have to share with you. My thing is to make it easier on yourself, like I said, if you don't want to do the permissions, just email your note to yourself after you've done it. That way, when he update, uh, updates the app, you can go to your email and just click on the attachment and bring it back in here. I've emailed my sticker book to my sister. So if I ever lose my sticker book in here, because I refuse, refuse to sit for hours and make a new sticker book, I have it in my email address. I can just bring it on over into there. You could even, uh, well, no, you can't do that. But either way, that's what I have to offer you guys. I hope that this helps you guys out somewhat. Once again, I'm not tech support. I just wanted to cover a video where I showed you guys how you can prevent this for yourselves in the future because like I said, I haven't had that issue since I did that and I've been good to go. I've been able to use the app perfectly fine without any issues. It just requires you to actually allow the app to do what it's supposed to do, right? If you're gonna use the app, then you should allow the permissions for the app so that the app can update, it can keep your stuff synced, all of those things. But anyways, thank you all so much for your support. Um, I am thinking about doing a Patreon uh, or a Patreon or whatever it's called for my channel just to link it below. There's a lot of things that I want to do for the channel and update for the channel and change up so that I can offer you guys more information, more videos, more unboxings, testing more products to show you guys what may work in a good way cohesively with what you have, etc, etc. But my Etsy shop financially is just not enough for me to do all of that. So I may do that sometime next week if you feel moved to ever donate. Uh, I know they say buy me a coffee on there. If you ever feel moved to buy me a coffee, <laughs> I will be saving that money to help boost the channel and give it some more life. Um, and some more content and all those things. So for those of you who watch my channel and don't digitally plan or aren't interested in faith planners but still want to support because I'm offering information that you like, then that will give an option for you to do so. But with all of that being said, if this did not work for you, I'm so sorry. I have nothing else to give. I sat on this all day long trying to figure out different ways to get your notes back and I just simply don't know. I mean, if you didn't back it up anywhere, if you have no way to actually physically see where your notes went, or you weren't logged in and you only used the app's storage, then I'm sorry, but you probably have lost all of your notes. If you wanna continue using the app, like I said, please continue by doing the instructions that I just gave. But with all that being said, God bless you all, and I will see you next time. Bye. Myself. Uh, okay, what happened? Okay, let's try that all again. Because I did this earlier today, so we're going to do that again. Let's go to export. Did I do email or did I do share? Let's try share. Let's try all pages. No, because then it gave me a code. We need to email it. I'm going to try that one more time, you guys. This is a solution that I feel like will work for people. And the reason I say that is because you can access the notes still. It'll be the version that you currently have, but it should essentially do. And if not, we'll try no share. And see, this is how I end up finding out a lot of the stuff that I share with you guys. I just sit here and I play around with this app because the reality of it is it's an app made from someone from another country. And the website, I can't understand it for the life of me. There's not much that I can do with it. Let's try this again. Okay. So that didn't work. All right. Let's, let's try something else. Let's try something else. Because I, I want to show you guys how you can get the document over to yourself. So let's try... Let's try... Note share. Let's try email. They only have it where I can actually email it to somebody. <laughs> That's fine. I'll email it to my sister. Yeah, see it attached. So just email it to yourself some kind of way, even if you just email it to like someone you know. 
All right, so now we're gonna go over into my email address really quickly. I'm just gonna cover stuff up. And I'm currently clicking on that attachment. Let me just do it like this, I don't know. I'm clicking on that attachment and it's loaded it in and here it is. So just to prove you that it proved to you that it worked, I'll have I have a new content planner here. So when I go to notes and then I go to planner, there's a folder here and that's the content planner that I just brought in and it's synchronized and it works. You see how that worked? Good to go. And the links inside of it still work, including the uh, the link for the planner situation that I put in there to bring me to you know the content thing if you didn't see that that's the touch notes hack video but yeah you guys i mean that's essentially it that's all i have to share with you my thing is to make it easier on yourself like i said if you don't want to do the permissions just email your note to yourself after you've done it that way when he update, uh, updates the app you can go to your email and just click on the attachment and bring it back in here I've emailed my sticker book to my sister. So if I ever lose my sticker book in here, because I refuse, refuse to sit for hours and make a new sticker book, I have it in my email address. I can just bring it on over into there. You could even, uh, well, no, you can't do that. But either way, that's what I have to offer you guys. I hope that this helps you guys out somewhat. Once again, I'm not tech support. I just wanted to cover a video where I showed you guys how you can prevent this for yourselves in the future because, like I said, I haven't had that issue since I did that, and I've been good to go. I've been able to use the app perfectly fine without any issues. It just requires you to actually allow the app to do what it's supposed to do, right? If you're gonna use the app, then you should allow the permissions for the app so that the app can update, it can keep your stuff synced, all of those things. But anyways, Thank you all so much for your support. Um, I am thinking about doing a Patreon uh, or a Patreon or whatever it's called for my channel, just to link it below. There's a lot of things that I wanna do for the channel and update for the channel and change up so that I can offer you guys more information, more videos, more unboxings, testing more products to show you guys what may work in a good way, cohesively with what you have, et cetera, et cetera. But my Etsy shop financially is just not enough for me to do all of that. So I may do that sometime next week if you feel moved to ever donate. Uh, I know they say buy me a coffee on there. If you ever feel moved to buy me a coffee, <laughs> I will be saving that money to help boost the channel and give it some more life. Um, and some more content and all those things. So for those of you who watch my channel and don't digitally plan or aren't interested in faith planners but still want to support because I'm offering information that you like, then that will give an option for you to do so. But with all of that being said, if this did not work for you, I'm so sorry. I have nothing else to give. I sat on this all day long trying to figure out different ways to get your notes back and I just simply don't know. I mean, if you didn't back it up anywhere, if you have no way to actually physically see where your notes went, or you weren't logged in and you only used the app's storage, then I'm sorry, but you probably have lost all of your notes. If you wanna continue using the app, like I said, please continue by doing the instructions that I just gave. But with all that being said, God bless you all, and I will see you next time. Bye.